Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly reading for November 13th through November 19th. Now, this is intended to be a love reading, okay? And I need to remind you that this may not resonate with you, okay? And I really have to point that out because this is not a private reading, okay? This is a general reading. If you want to know about more about me, you can watch my welcome video or my let's talk videos. Those are live streams. They're generally done at night. Um, so they're pretty interesting. This is for the sign of Pisces. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle for a minute more. I will zoom this in better once I get the cards laid out. I only offer one reading, okay? You can find that information below. for the sign of Pisces, November 13th through November 19th. All right, so the basis of your reading is the Tower card. This tells me that something has crashed down or something is going to crash down. Breakdown, there's a breakdown. Whether it's happened already or it hasn't happened, it is going to happen. That is the basis of your reading this week. There's a false foundation, something isn't true. Something isn't real and it must fall apart. This is your blessing in disguise, believe it or not. Okay, when the tower comes out and it's the basis of your reading, this it may hurt, but it brings in something better. It's going to bring you peace, believe it or not. It's, it's, it's a shock, you know, it's a shock, but it brings you towards something better, all right? Something needs to break down that wasn't real. Maybe it's lies, maybe it's deceit, maybe there's something that um, was not really serving you and the universe says, okay, this isn't for your highest interest. We need to crash this down for your benefit. That's what the tower card says. And, and you know, it breaks down, it crashes, it might hurt, it might cost you some money. I don't know. This is for hundreds and thousands of people. It's either going to hurt you emotionally or it's going to cost you something. But it brings you good luck. Okay, it does. So rest assured, whatever breaks down, it's going to bring you something better. Okay, now I have to tell you, be careful with your choices. I think that you are confused because I see confusion here. Be careful. Remember, whenever this breaks down, what you own owns you. So if you are choosing one thing over another that's what owns you so be careful what your choices are with this seven of cups there could be some addictions um in your life okay there could be some overindulgences i'm not sure if it's you or somebody else this is is intended to be a love reading i feel like you know, there's some some kind of um, escapism here. Like you feel the need to escape. Maybe you're just blocking something out. Maybe you're blocking out some hurt from your past, or you're blocking out somebody from your past. Maybe um, you didn't choose something. I'm not sure. It, right here, this Seven of Cups tells me that there's a choice. A choice between tangible and intangible. Okay, that's what this this choice is. Do you choose love or do you choose something else? That's what this card says. I think many of you are, are refocusing, okay? I think that there's um, a need to step back and figure out where you want your future to go, all right? I feel like you have learned a big, big lesson and you should celebrate your success. There's a lot of success here. 
okay? Whatever needs to come break down is, has taught you something big or is going to teach you something big. And now it's time to start the next phase of your life. So just, just whatever happens, just go with it. Accept it and go with it. It may bring you in some challenges, you know, or some conflicts, but you know, it's a real opportunity for you to see the truth, okay? So for some of you, a truth is going to come out that might hurt, all right? And it, you might want to step back and be like, you know what? I'm, I need to really think about this. I'm not sure where I'm going. I need to refocus. This isn't what I want. What is it that I want? You know, what is it that I want? Do I want love or do I want um, something else? Okay, because that's the choice. That is the choice. Love or something else. You know, what are you going to focus your energy on? So we do have um, the happiness. We do have judgment, which is karma. We have karma here. Karma's at play. So take that into consideration. All right, whatever needs to break down is teaching you a lesson that you needed to learn. I think a door has closed. And I think that um, you're letting it close, all right? I think you're going to let it close because you're ready to be happy again. I think your self-respect is um, needed for you to respect your wishes, you to respect your desi desires, um, and for you to recognize that who you are is enough, all right? And I think many of you are. You're realizing that I'm enough. Okay, for some of you, there could be an unexpected choice in love. Okay, or you know, we have the lover's card here, and it can mean several things. So, there's this love, there's an opportunity for love here. Okay, you need to make a decision, and with it's connected to the seven of cups. And so, I really think that many of you are focusing do you want the love? Do you really want this? Because you have to live with the consequences of your decision. If you want love, you have to put love at the top of your list, okay? And I think that for many of you, that has not been the case. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And I think many of you are just thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You know, where does love come into my life? Because this is a love reading. Do I, do I really want it? Do I have time for it? You know? So I think you've reached some kind of finish line where you're about to start a new phase in your life that you can no longer um, pretend that you're happy where you're at. And I feel like many of you have been pretending that everything is okay. You know, you're mastering your emotions on the outside, but deep down you want more, okay? So I just feel like there's a mentally restless energy here. There could be some obs observation. Perhaps you are focusing on somebody from your past. Focusing, observation, somebody from your past. You could be focusing on that, okay? You know, but the thing is, is you have to make a choice. What's it going to be? Is it going to be love or is it going to be everything but love that's your decision again we have the lovers card be prepared to live with the choices of your consequences okay it's your choice do you want love or do you or do you not want love what is it going to be so for many of you you're going through a period of recognition recognizing your needs stepping back refocusing Maybe many of you are forming up a new goal or a new plan. Whatever, this, this tower card, I say it represents the universe. The world card represents the universe, really, as far as, far as the, the tarot readers of the world say. They say it represents the universe. I, I do agree, but I also say that the, that the tower card represents the universe. I believe that both of these cards say that you have divine help. Somebody from above is trying, and with the judgment card, absolutely, this is somebody from above trying to come through. 
Somebody is trying to get you to look at things in a different light. Okay? What you, what you choose, what you own, owns you. Do you want to live the rest of your life without the love that you really desi desire deep down. Do you? Okay. It's time to accept the truth. You are being offered a new opportunity for truth. All right. Where does your truth lie? Is your truth in everything but love or do you really deep 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 down want love but you're burying it you're blocking it you're escaping from it in any way you addictions can be food it can be alcohol it can be drugs can be spending whatever i feel like somebody that is watching this is is totally not following their truth because they don't want to be hurt Okay, and I feel like somebody from above is trying to get through to you. Okay, I really do. So, for some of you, um, there's a door that is being closed. It's not completely closed yet. All right, it will be closed when it is a 10. Okay, it will, but it's not. It's nine. Nines are doors that need to be closed. Okay, for me. All right, so. I feel like there's a door that needs to be closed. It's not completely closed, and you have a decision to make. I mean, that's the, that's what I see. I'm going to start shuffling the next deck. We have a lot of karma here. There's lessons being learned. All right? Something big. A big lesson. Many of you are about to start a new phase in your life, and it's completely different than the where you've been. Okay, it's unexpected. It's not your usual. You're heading down a new path, which is totally not who you used to be. Okay, many of you are heading down a new path, and it looks really, really good. But it's about the choices you make. Okay, look at that fell out. <laughs> oh, another nine. Um, when they fall out, it's pretty much time to lay them out. Yeah, why don't you lay out your cards? And I'm not talking about your physical cards. Put your cards on the table. I'm not talking about these cards. Put your cards on the table and decide what is it that you want. I think that you really need to decide what is it that you want. Are you looking for financial stability and security? Is that at the top of your list? Are you able to give equally? This is give and take, the six of pentacles. Are you able to give and receive equally? Okay, this is a love reading with another person. Are you? It's something to, when you got your cards out on the table, consider that. Are you able to look at all the money in these first three cards? Money, money, money. Are you just focused on that? Be careful. Hold on a minute. Be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. Look at him. Hold on a minute. Do you want love or do you want possessions? <laughs> Are you going to bury yourself in your job to escape hurt and just keep dreaming about the past? And not doing anything about it. Are you going to keep dreaming about a love that you had in the past? I'm not talking about with a per. I mean, it can be with a person for some of you. But the feeling of true love that you felt in the past. Are you dreaming about that? And you want it again. But you, it's not a priority. Okay, I'm not talking. For some of you, yes, it's a past lover. But for some of you, it's just a past feeling of love. I see many of you are focused on being very grateful for the, all that you uh, have, um, enjoying the finer things in life on your own, by yourself. I mean, that's what I see. Oh my gosh, because we need more. 
We need more? You're focused on your career. For, there's not new, new love here or a resurgence of a relationship. Be, you're dreaming about it, yes. You want this love, but you're not putting effort into it. You're focused on your career. You're focused on your job. I think that it you have been very much um, defending yourself. You know, feeling like you need to defend yourself. And you're probably doing it right now. As you're watching your re this reading, you're probably defending the words that I'm saying. You know, because you've been hurt. I don't need anybody. I've been hurt. I'm only going to get hurt. I might as well just take care of myself. I'm just going to work on my career. I'm going to bury my emotions there because I don't need this. I'm fine where I'm at. That's what you're saying. I'm fine. I'm happy. Deep down. Deep, 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 deep. Are you really? Are you really deep down? You can bury those feelings of past hurt and rejection and loss with drugs, alcohol, food, spending, whatever. And you can block it out by concentrating on your job and burying yourself on that. You can. You can. But I feel like somebody from above, I seriously believe this, is trying to get you to open your eyes. They're trying to get you to wake up. There is more to life than this. It's time for you to take action. It is. You really need to step back and refocus. All right? You really need to dig deep. Go within. Go down deep okay it's a time of reflection for you is this really what you want the tower is here to break something down there's some false foundations that you are you the tower Are you lying to yourself by saying everything is okay? I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on my career. I don't want love. Are you lying to yourself? Are you that false foundation? That is the basis of your reading. The first card is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I told you somebody from above is helping you. The time is now. Somebody is asking for you to step back. Step back and refocus on your goals. Please. They're angels. There's somebody from above that is trying to get through to you. Be careful what you own. You will have to live with the consequences of your choices. If you're happy with just the money and possessions, then fine. But deep down, deep, 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 deep with that hermit card, you're not. And you can, you can, you can let pretend to the world that you are, and they, you know, they're gonna see you on the outside. But deep down, you're not, and you feel that. Express your love. This is what they're trying to tell you. Express your love. Go ahead, make the romantic gesture. Do it. You want to. But something's telling you not to. Something's telling you not to love. What is that? What is telling you not to love? That's what you need to figure out. It's a time of reflection with that hermit card. What is telling you not to love? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. 
do it. Put love at the top of your list and see what happens. So Pisces, this is for November 13th through November 19th. This is not a private reading, so it may not resonate with you, okay? It may, it may not. Talk to you later.